Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking back in. We have just entered another Olympic year. And when I say another Olympic year, it just totally sounds so crazy after last year. Um, but we're staying positive, but it is super tough times at the minute because we've just gone into another national lockdown. So for us, that means all the pools, all the gyms are closed. And it pretty much means I'm training by myself. Now, because I represent Team Jamaica, I can't go to one of the high performance centres around the UK. So I've, I'm allowed to swim legally. You know, the government have basically announced this lockdown will not end until April. Um, so I've just got to try and outsource some training facilities, really, where I can go. Now, I've been super lucky because Stockport have said that I can swim at my home programme for four weeks while I kind of get back on my feet and sort out what I'm going to be doing. Um, that will mean no coach. That will mean no teammates. So I'm going to be totally by myself, just with the manager in the venue. And then after that, I've kind of got to source something out myself. So I'm taking one day at a time. I've still got a smile on my face and I'm just trying to stay as positive as I can. So I'm just on my way to training now. So I thought I'd take you with me. Say that was twenty eight five. <laughs> Oh, another beautiful day. It is freezing, but I'm off for another 10k run. Not really a fan of running, but I've actually got a confession for you guys. Don't know if any of you guys have experienced this, but last night my nipples just absolutely started pouring with blood. And when I say pouring, I've had to put <laughs> a plaster on. Is this normal? Because I've never experienced this before. Um, but yeah, when I say it was gushing, I mean, oh my gosh, I've never seen so much blood. Um, so yeah, that's on there for now. I don't know how how long that will actually stay on and I feel like I need to air them out you know <laughs> This lockdown has definitely been a lot tougher than the other lockdowns. I think because I've been swimming on my own, I've had a lot of time to overthink and overthink again. So one thing that I've been doing for myself is coming out for some walks, getting some fresh air. Obviously it's lovely when the weather's like this, but you know, walking the dogs and just having some me time. Is that right? <laughs> guys that is my time done in Stockport it has been four really amazing weeks it's actually gone really quick um, but I've got the job done I've done the hard work and um, I found a pool in London which is good so I'm off home home back to my family home in London I never got managed to go home for Christmas so I'm actually so so excited to see them and um, there's a private school called Eltham College that I used to swim teach at and they're open because of the vulnerable students and they've basically told me that I can have my own entrance and exit and it will be super safe for everyone involved so I'm super excited that I have somewhere to train. So this pool does play a very special part in my heart and this is the reason why. 
So here we are, and let me show you this. This is gonna be my home for the next 40 weeks. But look, who is that? <laughs> I am not sure if anyone is familiar with a system called Adams. I'm not talking about you, Adam PT, <laughs> not this time anyway. I'm talking about the World Anti-Doping Agency, which is online. And basically as an international athlete, I've been enrolled onto the system so I could be drug tested at any point throughout my swimming career. Every night I have to put down where I'm staying, where my overnight accommodation is. I have to put down my daily activities, where I'm training and an hour's time slot. So if the drug testers turn up at that spot every day, I would have to be there. And if it's not kind of filled in correctly, then I'll get a strike. Um, and if I'm, if I'm not there and I can't do the blood test, then yeah, if you get three strikes, it is not good because you get disqualified from competing internationally. So I'm just currently filling out my add-ons. The tournament fly last week didn't go too great, so we're going to try again today. Week 8, I have got a 9k session today. Hopefully it won't take as long as yesterday. But how are you doing, Stephen? So I'm not sure if anyone has swum in a pool when their face is on the wall, but it is so weird to move fly. guys thank you so much for watching i'm back off to manchester next week so i'll make sure that i update you when i'm there but thank you so much for all your support honestly it really does mean the world to me and hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into what i've been getting up to